Good evening and welcome to a new series of Capital D. This evening we're looking at some things you can do if you decide to spend a day in the city, finishing up with a stage show. But we start with one aspect of the beauty business. Many people would prefer to have longer, glossier locks, but simply aren't prepared to wait several months for their hair to grow. So, the hair extension industry, inspired by Victoria Beckham and Madonna, is booming. And hair extensions can also benefit people who suffered hair loss through illness. I thought, well, I'm going to just have a, a nice, clean, crisp, funky shop with a funky name. We offer retail up the front and then a salon down the back. Girls have hair wardrobes today. They can have wigs, they can have hair pieces, they can have half hair pieces. They don't have to spend hours in the chair anymore. A lot of our, of our girls do a whole head of extensions in an hour and a half. I've noticed that what they do is they keep coming back and add to their wardrobe. So the hair extension industry is booming. It goes back um, four generations. My grandfather, he taught my aunt, who was quite famous in this country, Nevette Obolinsky. In the late 50s, she, flew to, she went to France to study alopecia. Her business was hairdressing. So we had to go to the salons at the age of nine every Saturday school holidays. So that's really how it started. I was in America about 20 years ago, and they were just starting hair extensions in New Orleans. And there was a man there that invented hair extensions, and he had a school there. So uh, that's when I started. I was so interested, and I couldn't believe that these hair additions were for all the celebrities. There's a lot of young girls come in, and they haven't got that much to spend. Tight budget. They just like clip-ins. And they maybe have 25 euro, 50 euro. On the professional side of it, when clients come in, we can basically charge anywhere between 375 to 750 euro for hair extensions and that will be a European type hair and that will last three to four months. This is the strand by strand method. What we do is we take small amounts of strands of the client's hair and then we add exactly the same amount of extension hair and then we bond it together and that's what makes an extension. Extensions aren't damaging to the client's hair. What is damaging is your, if your extensionist isn't fully qualified. I started to get hair extensions a couple of years ago because um, I cut my hair. My hair used to be this length and I cut my hair shorter. I kind of regretted it so I got started to get hair extensions and I just really like them because they make my hair really full and um, once the hair put in today just feel really natural. I use the hair extensions shampoo and conditioner and when I get out of the shower I dry off the bonds straight away. I don't leave them so they get wet because they swell and that's where the hair starts to come out away from it so I don't need to get them done as regularly as a lot of people do. The length and all okay for you? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So if you curl that now it'll jump up a little bit. So. Dolores and myself opened the business in Bagot Street in 2003. Last year we decided we needed to maybe expand and not be as one dimensional in the business. About 18 months ago the business took a bit of a downturn when uh, Victoria Beckham decided to get a bob and straight across the board just dipped uh, nearly 50%. So out of that we said let's not be as one dimensional in our business and let's start going into different aspects of beauty. Is there any chance Danny can do Kelly? That's a very, very good idea. We would do probably uh, five to six ladies a day with extensions. In the hair replacement I would just do two, maybe three a day at the most. Upstairs we have the salon for the glamour and then we have downstairs for the hair replacement. Are you ready to go? I got an aphasia force when I was nine years old and gradually had it over the years. And when I gave birth ten years ago to my little girl Hannah, I lost all of my hair. Living with alopecia, it's, people say it's cosmetic and to look at a person who has the alopecia, it's easy to say that, but when you actually have it yourself, it's psychological torture. You lose your self-esteem, your self-confidence because you're so conscious of what you look like and what other people judge you for what you look like. So what we design is, we design a mesh, a very, very fine mesh. So the mesh is like a base and then we work through the mesh with any hair they have themselves and then we add hair through that. It's really just adding hair to hair loss and we can monitor the hair then by taking it off every five weeks and watching how the hair grows back. I was nervous coming into the salon and um, not knowing what to expect and I got a consultation and had a look and I thought it was too good to be true so we went ahead with it anyhow and they put on the volumizer and 
left salon. Looking and feeling what I used to be. It's just coming here, it's just made an awful lot of difference to me. It's just built up my confidence so much. The way they make you feel in the salon. I mean, when you go home, you, you know if you're here, you do as you're here again, that you have somewhere to go. You have something to fall back on. There's, there's, there's help out there now for people.